Guys, great news. Um, so for eight, like I got back from Spain and the washing machine wasn't working. I mean, you can hear that it is now. Um, basically, phoned up Bosch, I was panicked. I was like, we're gonna have to get a new washing machine. I'm in the house on my own. Jake's gonna come back and I'm gonna get an absolute rollicking because the washing machine's broken. No, my friend's fat backside while we were having wines in the kitchen the other day. It's not a fat backside, it's lovely. Um, she'd obviously been leaning on the washing machine like... <laughs> oh wait, this doesn't work. Does it? Well anyway, she'd been doing like this and she turned the child lock on so I was like, damn it, it's a child lock and a jewels lock. I can't work it out. It's fixed now. Um, the weather outside... Look how blue the sky is. What am I doing inside today? Blogging. I've just had some friends over and I just went to see um, my neighbour Laura Whitmore and her beautiful little dog Mick. Um, you can see that on my Instagram, it's at Jules Von Hepp. Um, and yeah, they're all, they've all got nice things to do today, although Laura's actually on Radio 1 so maybe I need to turn Radio 1 on. Um, I'm going to have some lunch and then I'm going to go into town and try to maybe look for a pinky shirt to wear tonight. Hmm. Right, I've got about an hour to run into town and knit back. I'm slightly nervous that I'm gonna run late, but never mind. Um, what I'm wearing is, now I hate this mirror because it's one of those mirrors that um, makes you look a little bit chunkier. Well, I like to think it is. Um, we've got some loafers for the first time on this year. I've had these, um, for ages actually, I got these in Sydney um, when I lived there a long time ago and they're absolutely battered but I love them, they're so comfy. Um, these jeans from Weekday, well, let's do this in the mirror. Um, and then I'm just wearing this like Zara top but I really like this top because it's got pockets here and then just a little All Saints t-shirt. Got my headphones because I can't bear listening to anyone on the tube. And then sunnies. But I'm also in the market for sunnies, I nearly, I nearly, um, that's that little guy. Um, I nearly bought some in pa where was I? In Madrid Airport. Not Parma. <laughs> Come on, Jules. Um, but they didn't have a new pair and I'm not buying a display pair. Please. I am the worst for forgetting to blow these out before I leave the house. Just saw this burning away. Whoops. Oh my god, it's such a nice day. What's I doing indoors, Jules? We just had this horrible sinking realisation that I am too old for Topman clothes. So I'm going to try H&M. I literally went around Topman. Nada. Nada, nada, nada. Oh God. <sighs> I just got back. Um, town was ramoed. I actually found some... Oh look, my laundry in the background. Nice. Um, I actually found some nice bits in River Island, which I'm going to wear on my blog soon. JulesHeptonStore.com And then... I decided that Top Man just isn't for me at the moment, and nor is oh, Zara. I'm kind of in between sizes, which is really annoying. So I just, the camera just go off then. <laughs> Cash. Um, but I'm kind of rushing because my friend Tash is on her way over to do my makeup. So I need to swap cameras because this is my vlogging camera and then I've got my tutorial camera. So hopefully this works when I edit it, but ta-da! So tonight I'm going to Poppy Delavine's Jo Malone Ball and hence me running around and looking for everything today and kind of like, I don't know, I've had a bit of a stressful day but when you're going to something at Claridge's with Poppy Delavine and friends, um, it's important to look your best. And so my lovely friend Tash is coming over to do my makeup um, and grooming because sometimes in times of a big event, I think it's very important to get someone else to help you out because the last thing you want to be doing is stressing. Guys, I'm going to introduce you to my dear friend Tash, who's doing my makeup today. Come in and say hey, hey. Hi. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. So I'm starting with no moisturiser, nothing on my face. I've just had a quick shower um, and Tash is going to start from the beginning. Hopefully this is going to edit properly. That depends on my skill. Um, but. Await the transformation. 
So first Tash starts by removing the leftover dirt and debris from my skin by using this Bioderma um, cleansing water. Now I always see this backstage and makeup artists love it and if you watch in a minute you'll see my reaction to what was left on my skin. Tash then uses this multi-active toner by Dermalogica to refresh my pores and to cleanse my skin. She's a good one, isn't she? Well, the Dermalogica smells fit. I did a course with them yesterday. Oh, course with them yesterday, of course. Ooh, what have we got here? Some oil control lotion by Dermalogica. Just watch how she puts it on. Just caressing my skin. Just wait for it. Oh, rub them together, Tash. That's it. Lovely. Massaging into my skin. Beautiful. So Tash has just moisturised me using this oil control Dermalogica lotion. Um, Apparently, it's going to stop me shining later, so time will tell. I then moisturise my lips using this Pawpaws ointment from Australia. It's one of the best all, let me tell you. Ooh, what's this going on here? It's the Rhodial Snakeskin Serum Pen, which has run over my skin to add youthfulness and to plump out any wrinkles. There are some there, which is slightly concerning at the moment, so... To go on the uh, red carpet with no wrinkles? I mean, holla, what a beauty. Tash then starts to add this Illuminescent CC Cream by Giorgio Armani. Um, she adds it to my T-zone, so around my nose, under my eyes and on my brow. And this gives me radiance, but without giving me that iridescent shine. She says she uses it on her male clients quite a lot, which I'm obviously a fan of, because, you know, I don't want to look too feminine. Keep it natural, keep it masculine. I mean, look at me. Have you ever been in your life? No. <laughs> I, I, I used to be attractive. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Now it's time for a little bit of foundation. Tash is using this Giorgio Armani Maestro Fusion Foundation. It's extremely lightweight and looks sheer, um, which I think is one of the secrets to getting really natural looking skin for guys. Um, later that evening, a lot of people were commenting on my look and I think that this being used as a base has a massive thing to do with it. I mean, just look how happy I am here. Happy and perfect skin. Yippee! So now it's time for a little bit of concealer. Um, Tash is just adding it to my devilish frown lines here. Um, she also adds concealer down my nose and around my nostril area, as these are areas that tend to get a lot of shine and have open pores. Um, but when I asked Tash which concealer colours from Bobbi Brown she'd used, just wait for her answer here. I might use a mixture, honey, walnut tree, and natural, natural tan, a little bit of almonds. Classic makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And two, nine, seven, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your pin? <laughs> Tash then mixes a tiny bit of this tinted eye brightener from Bobbi Brown with some of their eye gel. Now, um, or eye cream, there it is, eye cream. Um, this gives a little bit of light around the eye area because you imagine the skin isn't one shade. Tash is then creating this natural definition. It is really funny when I ask her about what shade it is though. This is the Bobbi Brown one. Tinted eye brightener. In bisque. In biscuit? In, in hobnob. <laughs> oh, in bisque with a Q-U-E. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. So, time for a little bit of eye brightener on my inner eye. Tash is using this Estee Lauder Ideal Light Eye Brightener. Um, it's just hiding signs of fatigue. See? Look how less shattered I'm looking. Eh? And now it's time for a little bit of bronzing. As a tanning expert, I obviously love being brown, but I like it to look natural. I can't stand orange. Tash is using this Giorgio Armani Maestro Liquid Summer Bronzer. We've done the right-hand side of my face with the bronzer. You can see there, all nice and even. Um, and now, obviously, she's doing the other side because I'm not going to go out with one half of my face bronzed. Come on. And nor would I go out with that line. So let's just add a little bit of bronze to the neck, around the jawline. And Tash also said never forget the back of your neck, which I think is a really good point because you could do the front and then the back of your neck is white. Disaster. 
And now it's time for brows using this hourglass brow pencil. It has a comb at one end and a triangular pencil at the other. And the tiniest bit makes such a natural difference. See, look at that, brows, shaping the face. Time for a little bit of contouring using this Charlotte Tilbury contouring palette. I actually met Charlotte Tilbury coincidentally on this night and she said she was excited to meet me. Say what? I'm just going to give you a bit of a loose powder for, for my old loose cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tash. And what was in her loose cannon was this Sunday Riley loose powder. Now, loose powder stops the shine, and it also makes your skin look nice and matte. Tash loves this one because it's extremely sheer. Let me tell you, I was a fan as well. Oh, what's going on here? A little bit of hairspray from Label M. This is a limited edition Giles Deacon can. Fancy. And there we go, here I am all ready for Poppy Delavine's ball tonight. Um, my suit, dare I say, is from H&M, my shirt is from Reese, and my tie is from Sandro. Um, Tash, what a dream! How good does my skin look? Um, if you're liking these videos, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, or you can follow me a little bit more closely on Instagram, which is Jules Von Hepp. Same for Twitter and Facebook. Um, oh yeah, and Snapchat. I'm just wrap that, wrapping that one up. Um, if you want to see a few more things from me or from the things that I'm eating or the things that I'm wearing, click through to my blog, which is www.julesheptonstore.com. I'm in a massive rush to get out of here because I told someone I'd meet them at seven. And it's five too. Oops. <laughs> Bye.